Anyone who's ever driven on the QE2 in a winter storm knows what a treacherous stretch of highway it can be, especially the area right around Red Deer. That's where Manmeet Buller was driving Monday, coming back from a conference on domestic violence in Calgary to the Alberta legislature, when he saw a car that had rolled over into the median. Being Manmeet Buller, he got out to help, and that's where he was fatally injured Monday, standing in the median, helping another motorist in the snow, when a semi-truck lost control, crossed the median, and hit him. It's a shocking loss for Alberta and for Alberta's political culture. He had a wicked and self-mocking sense of humor. He never took himself too seriously. And he was deeply and passionately proud of his Sikh faith and his Sikh cultural roots. It's not surprising to see condolences and praise for Manmeet pouring in from across the political spectrum, from every level of government and every political party. He touched a lot of people with his warmth, his generosity, his ferocity, and his courage. I'll always remember him best during his time as Minister of Alberta Human Services. I, I've been Minister of Human Services now for just a few months and there's tremendous work that needs to be done in that portfolio and I'm quite excited uh, about doing that work. He was catapulted into that position after the Edmonton Journal Calgary Herald fatal care investigation into the deaths of children in Alberta's foster care system. He was brought in to do damage control but he did so much more with courage and compassion he made it no longer a crime to report the names and faces of murdered children, and he made it possible for Albertans to track the number of children who died while receiving protective services. He had to stand up to his own caucus and to his own ministry to make those changes happen, and he did it because he had a powerful conviction that it was the right thing to do. There are certainly political rivals within his own party and without who could tell you that he would go to the wall in loyalty for the party he believed in. And indeed, with his death, I think the Progressive Conservative Party loses its best chance for some kind of rejuvenation. But his loss isn't just a loss to his party or to the Alberta legislature or, of course, to his family. It's a loss to the whole province that a young man of 35, a man of courage and conviction, should die on a snowy highway doing what he liked to do, helping others in distress.